Yeah, and I think a lot of this is due to the fact that there was a game on Wednesday, and then you have to kind of readjust. Yeah, and I think what's important is these changes come down the spine. It's two very important ones, and Matt Hedges coming in the, in, in the middle. For a club that has seen plenty of firsts in the last two and a half years, tonight brings another one, a first ever meeting between Austin and Toronto. Giassi Zardes now gets the start again. Now, Lima with more. It's a Ruti! Oh, back off the post! Sean Johnson beaten, but the upright wasn't. Looking and we're seeing these aggressive runs. This all comes off of Nick Lima. He drives through, draws all the defenders to him, lays it off to Rudy. This is a well-weighted pass here, sets up perfect for one-time shot. Johnson's beat. Nothing he can do about it. And at that point, he's just hoping it hits the post. Getting there in front of Redes again. Jafal. Nicely done. It falls for Danny Pereira. I would like to see Austin use Gallagher a little bit more in this match because he started off so strong. You got to get the ball to his feet, allow him to run up those wings. Yeah. Well, especially going against Kobe Franklin, who's. Uh, Ishmir Pekmich. Dishing out the yellow. Accelerating away, Pereira, he was tripped, and the referee, it's good refereeing from Ismir Pekmich, trying to play the advantage. That Austin put on the ball, making it so difficult. Yeah, they're not allowing Toronto at a moment to settle, are they? Yeah, there's no, there's no chance for them, and, and especially as Toronto tries to play through the middle. Homegrown player, as is Mbogu, he's actually the younger brother of uh, Ralph Brito, who was Traded away to Colorado in the middle of last season. Austin fans on their travels last year and was deemed to be a, a good luck symbol. This is almost a breakthrough here. Oh, Stuva was caught. Sliding in there was Franklin. We haven't seen him really involved in this match. No. It's nicely won away by Pereira. Pereira! Beaten away by Sean Johnson. They're asking for a handball. For the fact that the ball's out. This... Take a look at Pereira coming forward. Here's the shot, that initial shot. And then it's a little difficult to see from that angle. No suggestions it might have clipped hedges. And it's going to be Rigoni replacing Ethan Finlay. So a rare rest for Danny Pereira, who's played nearly every minute. Jafal, it's clever. Trying to muscle his way through. And then just wrestled to the ground by Kay. And Jafal taking exception to it. He's going to have to be careful. We're going to need plenty of time to think about it because <laughs> Izmir Pek Pekbic is busy talking to Julio Cascante. And now Rigoni. Oh, he did go for the near post. Oh, so close. Wasn't that far off. No, it's very close. It's a great one. You know, for the fans, look at that. Just outside. Josh Wolf. As Red Airs over elaborates a little bit. Oh, and Rings picked up a really cheap and unnecessary yellow card there. Let's take a look at Ring. Just a little. Rigoni picking up the Aaron pass and then committing the error himself. He's been a little uh, sloppy since he came on. And that challenge was sloppy from Jafal and it gives Toronto a free kick in a promising position. And indeed it is towards Cascante. Oh, it's fired in and just wide! Adam Lunkfus pounced on the edge of the area in terms of goal scoring. Look at this, it isn't cleared well and it goes perfectly. You, know, you almost think that that was going to... How much stoppage time? Not that much, four minutes.
Lundqvist, good turn, good cross as well. Still up for taking, and now back off the bar, and Sardes! Giassi Sardes! All of a sudden, is the new Verde a black hero? Maybe you spoke this into existence, Adrian, but it is a brilliant ball put in by Lundqvist. Then the little back header from Lima off of the post. And then Giassi Zardes just well aware here, positions himself where and full reactionary gets on the ball. And, and look, that's no easy finish from Z Zardes. And, and it's another late, late show for Austin against Canadian opponents. This time they left it even later.